Oh my! How's it going, all you guys and girls in the Illumination? Time to jump aboard the Loom Train! It's me, it's me, it's JJD. JJ Double J, the Illuminator here. The sweet one! Also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames. But we won't get into that right now. I wanna make sure I am here, yeah, okay. Can't really see because it's so bright out here. Can't even see if I was recording. That would have been terrible, right? Do this whole thing and I wasn't even recording. Okay. Movie theaters, popcorn prices, candy prices, all that. We all know that it's been, you know, through the roof for many, many years. I can remember going back 20, 25 years ago, going out to the movie theater and complaining about going to a matinee because it was cheaper. But, you know, looking nowadays, when a matinee is only 50 cents less around here, and the matinee, of course, is only, you know, the first showing of the day. It used to be anything like before 4 o'clock. Now it's the first showing of the day is the matinee only. It's only 50 cents less for the ticket. Prices through the roof even more for popcorn, soda, whatever. But I can remember back in the day going to the movies and there was a certain movie theater not too far away. It was the, the newest one at the time, so it had nice stadium seating, all that, compared to the smaller ones around here. Anyway, um, it was in a strip mall, one of those plazas, and it was at the very end on the right. There was a discount, kind of like a, uh, uh, well, it's, it was a Big Lots, as a matter of fact. I don't know, if, I see commercials for Big Lots all the time. I don't know if they're all over the country, but, um, you know, very small discount department store. Uh, long story short, at the time, they used to have candy bars and, and M&Ms and stuff like that, really for, um like three for a dollar back in the day. I know they were even cheaper even before that, but when I used to go, more like three for a dollar. Um, we used to go, especially in the winter when you had a jacket, of course everyone probably snuck stuff in. We used to sneak in candy and stuff like that, a can of soda, whatever. Um, I couldn't see someone getting stopped for doing that, especially when it was like three dollars for one candy bar. I don't know. Uh, it was just so fun to be able to be able to do that and know we were saving money, especially when we didn't have the greatest jobs in the world, you know, and we weren't making a ton of money. So you want to go see a movie and don't want to go broke doing it. But nowadays, I can't see any type of family being able to afford that. And I don't mean just because of the pandemic or anything. I mean, how could anybody afford anything like seeing a movie, husband, wife, and, and two kids or whatever, where... We're talking about spending, you know, fifty, sixty, seventy dollars. It, it's just crazy. I, I don't. I think it's a dying breed. I really think movie theaters are going to be a dying breed if they're not already a dying breed. We've already lost all the drive-ins and everything before my time, really. I mean, those were on the outs when I was small, but I just don't see. I don't know. I just don't see. You know what I mean? How could anybody afford it? You know, I saw a video recently on YouTube that someone that worked at a movie theater saying that you don't have to hide stuff like that. You can just take it in. No one's going to stop you. I don't know if anyone would want to would wanna take the risk. You know, who wants to get yelled at, right? So, I don't know. What do you think? Put your comments below. I'm off to the races. I love you all. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Illuminator. And I'll be back. Hey, hey, thanks for the porridge. This is a lot better than my wife's cooking. When she cooks, my toast has bones. Hey, hey.